Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Fred Arted where I am Mrs. Fred and I am so excited that we are going to do a project today together. So let's get going. Okay, so before we get grooving, let's go ahead and start our day with our art motto. And it goes a little something like this. I will try my best, I will be creative, and I will problem solve. We do this in every single art project. So let's get going with what we're doing today. Now today we're gonna be drawing the human heart. Yeah, an abstract version of the human heart, but we are going to embellish it in the style of folk art. Folk art is rich in culture and it's done by artists who are not formally trained, but have kind of done their own thing and really brought in their own culture, style, and things that are meaningful to them in their artwork. It turns out to be very beautiful and a lot of times amazingly colorful. So let's get our project running today and let's get the beat going. So here we go. Today in art, I can draw an abstract heart. I can embellish my heart in folk art style and I can use pattern to create visual interest. The first thing I did was head over to easydrawingguides.com and I will link that below and they showed me how to draw a human heart. So the first thing I'm going to do after I do my pencil sketch is just go over my drawing with a sharpie marker. This that I'm starting with is the pulmonary trunk. The next step is to draw the aortic arch. I'm just going to do two arch or rainbow lines that look like they're overlapping that pulmonary trunk. The next step is to create the left coronary artery. Now those are the veins that you see on the heart and I'm just going to suggest those lines right now and draw them as plain curved lines. This next irregular shape is the left atrium. And then I have the pulmonary veins. I learned all of this from my friends over at easydrawingguides.com. The next thing I have is the lower chamber. This is the one that resembles our symbol of a heart that we usually see on Valentine's Day. So after that, I'm gonna draw the right atrium and something called the superior vena cava, and that returns deoxygenated blood into the heart. Then I have the major arteries that extend from that aortic arch. And now I am ready to begin creating pattern and design on my heart, which is the part I am way more familiar with. I'm really glad I learned all of those anatomy terms in this project. So what I'm doing now is just looking at my heart and deciding where I want to add embellishment. I'm gonna use line, shape, pattern, and repetition to make my heart in the folk art style. Now this is really anything goes, and you can use any kind of line, pattern, and shape. So really get creative with this. All right, there's a lot going on here, so we need to go through and make a thicker line to outline all of the chunks of our heart. Do not leave this step out. This is going to make it pop. I'm also hiding a few symbols in here that relate to things that I like. Can you see the Quidditch portion of my heart? Oh yeah. I wonder what you will come up with. So have a lot of fun and don't forget to add lots and lots of color. All 
I hope you had fun creating this project today, and don't forget to keep on arting.